excited about this Eat Lafayette stop because we're at one of my favorite places in all of the world, Cafe Vermillionville. Probably one of the best kept secrets in Lafayette, even though it's very historic. This place was uh, actually built as Lafayette's first inn back in the 1800s, and since then it continues to get bigger and better. They got great steak here, great seafood. They got a special Eat Lafayette menu just for you. Obviously, the decor is uh, just really, really special here. You come in here, I guess you feel like you're eating at home, and uh, the people make you feel like you're eating at home. But as I mentioned, just great food, Eat Lafayette special. They're located at 1304 West Pinot Road, 1304 West Pinot Road. You can check out their website at uh, cafeb.com. That's cafeb.com. Enough talking. Let's go enjoy some great food here at Cafe Bermudeville as part of Eat Lafayette. Okay, we're here at uh, Cafe Vermillionville. Earlier, I told you about this place. Uh, it was built in the 1800s and just wonderful architecture here. This probably just gives you a little bit of an idea about the decor of the place here. As you see, it's very uh, homely and uh, very, very uh, clean, very well kept, and just, uh, you know, kind of an unbelievable view. Of course, when you're out to eat somewhere, eat Lafayette or Anywhere else, obviously, you know that uh, the atmosphere is part of it. And here at Cafe Vermillionville, of course, a great atmosphere. And atmosphere is uh, something that develops over a period of time. And they certainly have it here at this great place at Cafe Vermillionville, part of Eat Lafayette. But uh, as I mentioned, I'm getting a little tired of talking about this place, looking forward to trying a great menu. And they do have a great menu here, steaks, seafood, and also they have a Eat Lafayette menu uh, that's uh, dedicated, of course, uh, specifically to Eat Lafayette. So let's go ahead and take a look at the menu Let me right take now. A, a look at the menu here at Cafe Vermillionville, and you know you are certainly more than welcome to eat off the regular menu. But look at this great um, Lafayette menu for Eat Lafayette. $25 <laughs> per person, first course. Of course, you can have the turtle soup or corn and crab bisque. Second course is your cafe house salad and also your Caesar salad. And your last course, uh, you got a choice between, um, well, a number of great things as you could uh, see. I'm probably going to go with the, uh, the blackened rainbow trout or the Louisiana crab cakes. But uh, uh, a lot to choose from here at Cafe Vermillionville, especially off the Eat Lafayette menu. And again, that's only $25 per person. So come enjoy some great food at a great price here at Cafe Vermillionville. Okay, just got through uh, having some delicious stuff here at, uh, at Cafe Vermillionville. I had the great uh, corn and crab bisque, had a salad. And now for the, uh, for the main events here, you're going to see the... Uh, uh, the blackened trout here, which is uh, which just looks unbelievable. Have some shrimp in there, and some uh, and some rice. And uh, over here we got some wonderful looking uh, crab cakes. So. Again, all this part of the uh, Eat Lafayette campaign, and you don't have to order off the Eat Lafayette menu, but it's $25 per person for a four-course meal. They still have dessert getting ready to come, but again, take a look at the crab cakes and the, and the blackened trout. You don't want to miss the Eat Lafayette campaign here at Cafe Vermillionville. Again, a four-course meal and a great four-course meal at one of the better restaurants in the entire state for only $25 a person. All going on here at Cafe Vermillionville as part of Eat Lafayette. Just concluded a great meal here at Cafe Vermillionville with a uh, terrific dessert. More about that coming up, but I would be remiss if I didn't bring on Mr. Ken Veyron here of uh, Cafe Vermillionville. And uh, Ken, uh, first off, thanks for your hospitality. Uh, this place is uh, is special uh, to all of the Cadiana. It's been around a long time. I talked a little bit about the uh, the history, but th this place really doesn't have does have a very unique history, does it? Well, the building itself actually predates the town of Lafayette. That's the name Cafe Vermillionville. The city was actually named Vermillionville prior to being named Lafayette. Um, the business has been here for 31 years. Wow. So kind, of, kind of a staple in this, in this industry. It's uh, that's a long run. <laughs> and we're looking forward to 30 more at least. So. Now, now we know the uh, everybody knows about the food here, how great it is. Everybody knows about the service, how great it is. But uh, I'm, some, I'm sure that you know too. A lot of people tell me uh, that uh, maybe there's a, a ghost story or two here around here. Any any truth to that? He's referring to the guests that never leave, <laughs> <laughs> and we love them. Actually, uh, over the years, you know, uh, a lot of people have said quite a few different things. It's really interesting to, to really get back with the history of it. But we we have been told that um, there was a Union soldier. Uh, that was shot here during the Civil War. Well, it was, this was being used as an uh, infirmary and headquarters for the for the Union Army. Wow. He was uh, paying the Frenchman's wife a little too much attention and 
Frenchman didn't care for that too much. So we actually shot him right here in the parlor. <laughs> wow. Blood, blood stains are still on the floor. It's it's a really interesting. Because things never really go away. Uh, also, there was a little girl who died of the scarlet fever, a Gerard from Gerard Park. Uh, the Gerards owned a home in the 1850s. And uh, it's rumored she's still something for that as well. Man, there you go. You got I, something more than the great food here. It's a happen a restaurant, and you know we, yeah. we, we never we never really feel totally alone, even late at night. <laughs> I, I, I understand. I wouldn't want to be cleaning up around here. You know what I'm saying? But uh, speaking of cleaning up, you can clean up with uh, by getting the Eat Lafayette special. Of course, you come here to the Cafe for Million, though. You don't have to eat the uh, the Eat Lafayette menu, but uh, I tried it. You need to try it too. Can't four course meal for twenty five dollars a person. I mean, basically, you people are, are giving away free food here. Where <laughs> it is a great deal. We, we've enjoyed it. You know, we 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 pondered over a couple things to really do, and uh, you know, we said, hey, if we're we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it. I'll and, tell you what, it's uh, it, it's awesome. It really is. It's awesome. Cafe Vermillionville, thirteen oh four West Pin Oak Road. You can check out their website at cafev.com. Can't appreciate your hospitality oh, one more time. Thank you, Steve. Steve. We appreciate it as well. Steve Pelipper, reminding you to eat local, eat Lafayette.